In this video, I will show you how to create some in-drop transitions in Filmora 11 and it will be very interesting. Let's get started. Let's try that again. One more time. To do this effect, first what you want to do is to download some black ink effect like this. I'm going to put links in the description where you can download ink drops like this. All right. So once you have done that, what you want to do is to put the ink drops on your track above, which is track number two. Okay. Now you can actually match it to your media or to the project settings. I'm just going to keep it to the project settings and you will see something like this. Next, grab the track where you want the transition to occur. I'm going to drag this track over here. Let me just mute this. Next, what you want to do is to double click on the track with the ink drops. Head on over to compositing and change the blending mode to lighten. And then you will see something like this. Now you can adjust the opacity, right? Depending on the clip that you have. Some clips are all right with at 100%. Some clips you may want to tone it down slightly. It is up to you. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that at 100% for this effect. Okay, so you will see something like this. Now you notice that for this ink drop here, the ink drop doesn't really cover the entire frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click this again, head on over to transform, and I'm going to scale this up so that my entire frame is covered. Somewhere around here. Depending on when you want your transition to occur, I'm going to split this as well as split the clip below. Next, what I'm going to do is to delete the unwanted ink drop clip. And I'm going to select this again and I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to select the track and I'm going to paste it back at the track above. Right. Next, what I'm going to do is to select the track again and I'm going to reverse the clip so that I have an effect like this. You notice that the ink effect kind of starts slow, so I'm going to adjust this. Somewhere here, I'm going to trim this clip first and place it there so that the ink will happen much quicker. Okay, now you can actually change the clip out for other transition. I'm going to delete the clip below and place this uh, track over here so that you can see this. And uh, this is what you will see. Okay, so if I wanted to time it such at the moment the clip uh, stops, I'm going to delete this, adjust the clip, start somewhere here. And that's all there is to this effect. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up so that I can continue making videos like this. Also check out on the screen right now for the next Filmora tip. And if you want to find out more about Filmora, check out the links in the description for my training course and other resources related to Filmora as well.